Hey Hedgies, welcome back to Cornwall. If you're new on my channel then hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. My name's Jane Sarche and usually you'd see me in Myrtle, the Volkswagen camper van, making easy one pot camping recipes. However, today we are on the last of our March theme of Make Ahead Camping Meals. So welcome to my kitchen. Um, we're gonna make a very sweet treat today which is delicious at this time of year. So we need to get out in the garden and go and find today's ingredient. So, let's go. Now if you've got the room in your garden, then rhubarb is a fantastic plant to grow. It's perennial, which means you plant it once and then it dies off every winter and it comes back every spring. You've got to do nothing. However, if you've got young children or grandchildren around, it's worth noting that the leaves are poisonous, so please bear that in mind. The rhubarb will pick, let's get it scrubbed and ready to cook. So it is really early in the rhubarb season, which is why these stalks are so skinny and short, but they're still gonna taste great. If you've got any rhubarb plants at home, you'll know that once they start growing, oh my God, you just, you're drowning in rhubarbs. So it's a really good time of year to actually get eating the rhubarb while it's tender and young. And also at this time of year, it doesn't need quite as much sugar because it's not as bitter as it gets later on in the year. Now because it's early in the whole rhubarb season, you don't need to peel these. As they get older and tougher, then you will need to take the outer skin off, but this time of year it's fine. Chuck it all in, extra bit of fiber. I'm also gonna pop in a couple of cooking apples too. Then simply add a splash of water, pop the lid on and simmer it away for a few minutes just to soften that fruit down. Next up, pop the flour, the oats, sugar and butter in a large mixing bowl and either use a knife or a pastry blender to mix the ingredients in together. And you kind of want them to turn into like little breadcrumbs. You don't want it to turn into like a lump of dough. Okay, when your rhubarb and apple is cooked down, it's gonna be kind of wet and sloppy looking with some larger chunks of apple left. That's absolutely perfect. Oh, before I forget, there's one more thing you need to do at this stage. You need to taste it and you will need to add some sugar unless you are incredibly hardcore. So let me grab that sugar back. Now I'm afraid I can't tell you how much sugar to put in at this stage because everybody's taste buds are different. So I would just kind of start with a tablespoon or two, mix that through and just have a little taste. I personally think rhubarb dishes should still have a little bit of sourness to them, but you don't want to be taking the roof of your mouth off with it. Oh, do you know what? That's perfect. I reckon that was probably two tablespoons of sugar that I used. But like I said, please do it to suit your taste buds. Okay, now I've got my little jam jars. Now if your jars are intact and have no cracks or dings in them, they'll be absolutely fine to bake with the dessert in them. However, if you're using vintage jars, you might wanna be a little bit aware that they might crack in the oven. So please bear that in mind. And then it's simply a case of adding your fruit to the jars. Now I filled mine, I'd say just slightly over half. You obviously want to leave enough room for your crumble topping because as everybody knows, the topping is the best bit of a crumble. And then simply spoon that on top too. If you're feeling extra decadent, then do sprinkle a little bit more brown sugar on the top of each one. That'll give you a nice little crusty crust. Now pop them in the oven. Now, full confession, the phone rang while I was baking these. I've actually burnt the jars, but strangely, I haven't burnt the crumble inside. So I'm not quite sure how that happened, but they look and smell delicious. So that's good. All I'm gonna do now is let them cool down completely before I screw the lid on, and then they will be adventure ready.
before we scoot off, do you remember this cute little chap? I know, I totally forgot. Let's find a winner. I've taken all the names out and I've screwed them up into all little balls. So I'm just gonna pull one out at random. Here it is. Also, my printer broke, so I had to write down everybody's comments and names, and <laughs> it took forever. See? Okay, this is a big one. This is from Martin and Andrea Smith. Hi, Jane. Yet another brilliant vlog. Oh, thanks. Uh, loved Eden Project and loved your cooking vlog. It was nice to see a cooking demo in your kitchen. Aha, well, welcome back, guys. <laughs> and yes, please, to your spork. And looking forward to your vlog next week. Oh, you guys, you're awesome. And I really appreciate your comments. You guys leave comments most weeks. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Martin, Andrea, if you could just pop into the description box of this video, right down the bottom of my description, you'll see my email address. Would you be a sweetheart and drop me an email with your... Um, address and I'll get this posted off to you wherever you are in the world. I hope that you get to share it, like maybe one of you could eat from that end while the other one's eating from that end. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how you share a spork. Um, just, yeah, have fun with it. <laughs> So I guess that's it for another week, lovely people. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been really good fun. And I think that's it. I've got a really exciting video coming up for you next week. Johnny and I are actually away on a press trip. So we're going to go and stay in a nice fancy hotel. We're going to go and see a part of Cornwall that I don't think I've ever been to again. Um, it's a big hotel on a beach and they're having a big party. So we've been invited along. So I'm going to take you guys along, which is cool. The, um, the event looks really good fun. So hopefully we're all going to enjoy it. So have a brilliant week and a fabulous weekend, whatever you're up to. And I hope the sun is shining for you where you are. Until next week, friends, over and out.